Hey everyone, today I'm going to be making a new Kydex holster for my Gen 5 Glock 17. Here is the mold that I will be using to base my holster on. And of course, towards the end, I will check it with my actual gun. Without further ado, let's get started. Since I'm using a prop of the Glock 17, I don't have to block it out, but I am going to add this little spacer so that I can have adjustable retention. The Kydex is now warming up and I will begin molding. The molding is now done. So I will now put guidelines for where to cut this. This will not be the final shaping, but it will be the beginning of the shaping. I have the rough shaping started. I will now begin drilling my holes. And from there, I will then continue refining the shape. holes are drilled and more of the shaping is done. I am now going to deburr these holes with a chamfer bit. You can do this with a drill. I prefer just do it by hand because this is Kydex, so it's not a super hard material. No reason to necessarily use a drill if it's not needed. I have the holes drilled and the holster closer to shape. From here, I'm going to add the retention point and add the eyelets. And then from there, I'm going to do the final sanding and then the buffing. I have the retention grommet in. I'm now going to add my eyelets and then I will flare the eyelets and we will continue from there.
rivets are now installed, so I will now bend the edges and then I will buff it. The edges are now buffed, and I will now attach the belt loops. The belt loops are now attached, and I will now show it with my Glock. Before we do that, we'll do a quick safety check. No magazines in the gun. Nothing in the chamber. The weapon's clear. And here it is with the gun in the holster. As you can see, there's the black front and there's the red back. I went with the red back because when the gun is drawn from the holster, the red is visible. So it gives a nice accent color. Plus, red and black is my favorite color combination. So I decided on that for this holster. Another thing I did is I left the top edge on the outer side more square. The reason why I do that is because then, if need be, I can rack the slide one-handed using the rear sight. As you can see, it draws pretty easily, and as I said, that square edge gives a nice place to rack the gun one-handed if need be. This holster can also take the Glock 19, 19X, or 45. Unfortunately, I don't have those guns to show that, but the Glock 19 slide-wise is just shorter than this one, as well as the 19X and the 45. So that's pretty much it. If you'd like a custom Kydex holster, you can find out how to contact me at studentawarcustoms.com. The link will be in the description. The music in this video was made by a friend of mine named Lo Belver. The link to his channel will also be in the description, along with the timestamps of the songs used. Thanks everyone for watching, I'll see you next video.